quite a while back, I made a survey asking for the community's opinions on, well, CSGO. I managed to get over 1,500 respondents. Thank you if you filled it out. As I promised 22 days ago, here's the results. First, let's look at the survey's demographics. Most of the people that answered were European, probably since it got popular during their afternoon. But I still got 25% from NA, so we should have a goodish balance for most of the community. Rank-wise, the most popular was the good old Reddit Global, with the next closest nearly tied at SMFC and LEM. It's actually pretty cool how in almost perfect order, the lower the rank is, the less popular it is, with the only real ranks breaking this being between MG1 and 2. On to the issues. I ask these questions on a scale of 1 to 5, usually meaning how satisfied you are with something. If someone put a 1, that means they hate it. And if they put a 5, that means it's kind of perfect to them. Overall, the Reddit community is slightly below a 3 on how satisfied Valve's approach to CSGO is. I understand it's a bit of a vague question, but I'm mostly talking about how Valve is treating CSGO overall with updates, gameplay changes, and others. However, when I asked how well Valve communicates with the community, the rating crashes to a 1.83, with only 20% voting anything above disliking the current style. Based on Valve's approach, this won't really change. As Gaben says, they like to communicate through products. One thing to note is this survey was done before Canal's update, where the constant changes of the map may have boosted this up. This next result was very interesting and gives light to why I made this survey. Originally, I wanted to give those that don't comment on the threads or videos demanding CSGO to be fixed a voice, since I've always thought that those that want CSGO to be fixed are the vocal minority. Sure enough, only 12.5 of survey respondents disliked or seriously disliked CSGO as a game. Most people are okay or pretty happy with it right now, which is a good feeling for those that have always thought people are blowing the issues out of proportion. Some may have misinterpreted this question, but I tried to state clearly that I'm asking for their opinions on the game right now as with most of the questions. Opinions on CSGO's performance were distributed pretty evenly. On the bright side, the smallest percentage were those that strongly disliked their performance, with most just being okay or happy, since the average was 3.23, which relative to the other averages is one of the best. Now to the negatives, updates. The majority of survey takers said they disliked the rate of large updates. I can understand this one, as they do come few and far between, with only 13% being happy with the current rate. It gets a bit better with the frequency of updates in general, where the overall rating is 2.6 opposed to 2.23. Keep in mind this is still below a neutral stance, but it's an exact tie this time between disliking and being okay with the current frequency. It gets better with the composition of updates. I thought more people would be fine with the frequency and not the content, but it seems to be the opposite where most are somewhat neutral, with less than 20% being on the extremes of this question. In fact, it is overall positive, with a rating of 3.08. However, the next topic is the worst, the wait for the next operation. Over 50% took the worst extreme of strongly disliked, the most out of any question, and the overall rating was a 1.98, the second worst overall rating only to Valve's communication. What's interesting with this is the current excitement for the next operation. While many people are very excited for it, and thus are growing really impatient, a large amount of people aren't excited at all, which doesn't exactly match what you would think in terms of the last question. The opinion on smurfing is the most even out of all the questions, where the bottom four responses are within 2% of each other. Still, double any other is a neutral stance, with on even sides, sides most being even. <laughs> Wait, what? I think I was trying to say neutral stance is double than any other extreme stance, and the positive side had a corresponding negative side that was about the same, but I wrote this at 3am, so I don't know what I was trying to say. As expected, but still kind of interesting, the lower the rank, the more unsatisfied on average someone is with smurfs, where silvers and golds have a rating of 2.7, which is negative, whereas global elites had a rating of 3.63, which is very positive, since they don't have smurfs. As expected, when asked on the frequency of cheaters, their reports flip, where the higher the rank, the more likely you are to put below a 3. Except, not exactly. Silver's opinions on cheaters was more negative than MG's, where MG's seemed to be the most positive, or ran into the least amount of cheaters. Overall, out of these two categories, Silver's had the most negative combined, feeling the most wrecked by smurfs, but not getting the inverse feeling of cheaters, like the other ranks. Hit reg was interesting. The more positive the stance, the more people there were, until you hit very satisfied, where it suddenly dropped off to 9%. Overall, the stance was just barely negative at 2.94. Overall, the CSGO community seems pretty satisfied with the balance of guns, but people are most upset with pistol balances in the game, understandably. Despite the ump being so controversial in a lot of threads, it was just barely different than the average feeling overall of weapons. Finally, with the pro scene. Overall, it has hit a sweet spot where a majority of watchers are content with the frequency of tournaments, and on both sides there are an even amount. 
The EU and NA frequency were almost exact opposites of each other, where people want less NA tournaments and more Europe tournaments. This is unsurprising, since the latest event in NA was DreamHack Las Vegas, and the second is that most people answering were from Europe. When you look at answers from NA, people are slightly more positive with the frequency of tournaments there, meaning that they probably don't want more, but are fine with how it is. In fact, NA is less positive with Europeans rating, but still right next to 3. Compare this to Europe's opinion, where the rating of NA tournaments was 2 instead of 3, and for Europe tournaments it was 4 instead of 3, meaning they clearly want less NA tournaments and more in Europe. The last question is the overall opinion of the community by the community. Mostly, it was neutral, but funnily enough, it was a bit more negative. The Silvers, however, were more positive of the community, a lot more than the rest of the ranks, despite being made the laughingstock of CSGO. My respect goes fully to Silvers. They're the type of friend that is picked on, but is just happy to be there. In conclusion, most opinions from Reddit are pretty neutral, with a slight skew negative, but nowhere near as much as I thought from the highly upvoted threads and videos. Overall, the community is happy with CSGO, but the more hot issues are seen slightly more negative than positive, but also come into play rank by rank. Hopefully, knowing this can help us understand our own community better when it comes to opinions and how many of us really support ideas, since most of us just like to read the threads and not write in them.